Breaks. Leclerc has that inside line. Through goes Hamilton. Unbelievable stuff coming out. So, yeah, Camus is the obvious winner here for me. And will it make you a better driver? Not really. So you can sort of forget that. But what it can do for you is a couple things. So one, um, you'll be able to save some money with this. Um, a lot of the other wheels are a lot more expensive. So why not save a couple bucks? Also, uh, the feeling, if you're coming from like a G29 or any of those other Logitech series, you're going to get a way better feeling uh, using this direct drive wheel. And now I know I said it won't make you a better driver, but I actually see that it made me win a little bit more. Um, and you'll see that later on in the video. Now, there's a ton of gear out here that can improve your racing experience, but you're gonna be ending up throwing a lot of money away, which can suck. But what's great about the Camus is you can take your old G29 wheel setup with the pedals and the shifter, and you can plug it into your computer and still use your Camus wheel. Or you can buy the racing adapter from Logitech, which is also pretty inexpensive, and then plug in your pedal and your shifter here. And then you also have this dial here, which um, I don't necessarily know what it does, but I have it set in the middle and it works well. I got this feeling inside my bones. The Camus C5 is very similar to other wheels in that the startup is sort of just this calibration thing. But what's really interesting is the feedback is pretty awesome. And you can see that here, but you can also do mods with this, which is crazy. And if you're a set of Corsa fan, you love your mods. Now, I don't mean these sort of mods because we are talking about hardware mods. And one such mod is a paddle shifter mod that you can pick up from Etsy from a seller called Bergen Customs. And I'm sure if you need something unique, just hit them up. Now what we've all been waiting for, does it make you better? <laughs> As we say in the States, no, absolutely not. Or across the pond, yeah, it's, it's still a no. But from the beginning of my iRacing career, I think I started with a Ferrari Thrustmaster and then I did horribly. And then I moved up to the G29, which... I did okay, as you can see there. But then over here, when I got the Camus C5, I just exploded. And my I rating went above 2000 and stayed above 2000. Speaking of I racing, let's take a look at this Clio race here where I narrowly avoid one of the cars on the inside at the bottom screen there. And then also, if you look at the top, while I am trying to make sure that I maintain space, um, I can feel a lot more in the road than I would on a G29. You can see the little mini corrections in the wheel as I try to keep the car straight. So this wheel did wonders in regards to eye racing, and there was very minimal setup, unlike a set of Corsa and R Factor. I actually don't think that a set of Corsa sucks. I really like the physics engine for a set of Corsa. And the only real issue here is that they do have presets, but there's nothing for Camus. So you're gonna have to try to figure this out yourself or see if the community has something for the C5. Um, I didn't look in depth to see if there was anything. So I just set up the buttons how I wanted it, set up the throttle and pedal. And then once I was done with that, I tried it out. Now, I don't actually drive on a set of Corsa, so this is probably the third time I've used a set of Corsa. And you can sort of see it here in regards to my shifting and that not being set up correctly or how I would like it to be set up. And then also um, in regards to steering, braking, etc., just knowing where my points are. So really, it's not the wheel, it's just the lack of experience on the game, but in regards to the wheel itself, it feels great. I feel all the textures in this road here. Um, I actually feel the textures a little bit more here than I do at iRacing, 
um, which actually surprised me a little bit, but I enjoyed it and it makes me want to come back to Seta Corsa. Ugh, I had high hopes for R Factor 2. I had a buddy who told me that this was the best racing sim that he ever used before. And my hopes were sort of flushed down the drain, mainly because of setup, again. Except for the setup on R Factor 2 was a lot more difficult, and I couldn't figure out how to stop the wheel from auto-turning for me. I couldn't figure out how to stop the assist. I did whatever I could and nothing worked. So what you see here is sort of what you get, unfortunately. Um, the good thing is, is that with this wheel, you can definitely feel everything very similar to a set of Corsa. But if you don't know how to set up, you'll just... And yeah, I really wanted to show you all like what it looked like in real life, but I'm an old dude. Now for my grade per PC title. iRacing, I gave this a B. A set of Corsa, I gave this a A. And R Factor 2, I gave it a C. iRacing, I gave it a B because of ease of setup. A set of Corsa, just because it feels good, it needs an A. And R Factor 2, I'm sorry, the setup was too difficult and I couldn't really try it. So C. And if you made it this far and actually care about my opinion, would I recommend? Absolutely yes. This is an affordable wheel that is direct drive and happens to work on all the major racing sims. And like I said before, sim racing is extremely expensive. So if you came from a Logitech G29 or any of the other Logitech series that isn't direct drive and you hop onto this Camus C5, you'll feel amazing. And with all this hype at the end, you probably think that this is sponsored, but it's not. I paid for this wheel with my own money, and this is my own honest opinion. And because it's not sponsored, it really helps out the channel if you like, subscribe, and comment anything, really. I do appreciate it, and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Peace.